Hi pals, welcome to my channel. My name is Jules and I'm the Scottish Highlander on a budget. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on a, another video. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, huge apologies for um, not doing a cash stuff in last week. I ran out of time and I didn't even take any cash out of the bank or out of the post office. So uh, yeah, <coughs> it was just not good. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. Every time when you start to drink, they start to video you need a drink. Um, so yeah, I also want to just say a huge thank you to all the ladies that reached out to me last night when I was feeling sorry for myself. Pretty much that's all it was. Um, I I was I am struggling a little bit mentally, but nothing major, nothing bad's happened. Um, yeah, just yeah, you know, we all get these things, and I think men get it and don't really talk about it, and women get it, and it's quite often linked to periods and things like that. So yeah, I just think I'm a bit down in the dumps but for no real reason. I had a lovely weekend away last weekend with uh, Alan, um, went down to see one of his sisters, his other sister came down as well uh, and we had a little family get together which was lovely. Um, we did some shopping in Gretna Gateway, um, I didn't buy anything but but yeah so it was nice, nice and relaxing and then we saw his son on the return home when we stayed in Glasgow on the way home. So yeah, so it was very nice, quite busy, a lot of family, um, but yeah, it was lovely. Uh, and then I didn't, because I didn't cash stuff, I ended up shopping my cupboards and my fridge and freezer, and yeah, I really only needed milk, which Alan got for me, so yeah, I can't complain. Um, I had started recording this already, so <coughs> my huge apologies for that. Um, I've done quite a few of the calculations, but not the adding up. I just got this real tickle in my throat. Does anybody get it? And there's no reason for it to be there. It just needs to go and do one. Uh, so I rolled over £188.42, a bit more than expected. I um, did bring in money, £342.10 from Etsy. Now that was from May. But what I do is I bring 30% into my budget. So a wage, um, and that is calculated as a wage in the business. And then set aside twenty pound twenty percent towards tax, although it's not twenty percent of what you make, it's twenty percent of your profit as such. So um I took the twenty percent off for tax before I took any other money out, and then I took my wage, but technically I'm you know what I mean? Like I I yeah, anyhow. Don't know how it all works, but I just say 20% 20, 20 aside of what comes in for me. Then I took 30% for myself and then 50% went back into the business. Easiest way for me to do it in that way that I, I know that I have um, money set aside just in case I, you know, make mistakes or whatever at the end of the year. But yeah, so 342 is a percentage of what I made in May. So really, really happy with that. Thank you so much to everyone that's been buying for me. That is my biggest um, so far uh, that came in. I'm just so I was really, really grateful for that. Um, people that are still buying. I am going to do an Etsy afternoon this afternoon. So you will get your items out. There's a couple of planners to go out. Um, but yeah, I've just had a super busy week. So that's the hardest part of running a business. That's kind of like not a hobby but you know it's like a little side business because you can't put 100% devotion to it because you've got your other work and your other commitments um but yeah again it's still other people's money so it is a business so it has to be done um so yeah so it's getting aside I do have loads of stuff there just to package up and all the envelopes are written so it's just to get on with that um and I was speaking to a studio budgets oh I'm so sorry your first names escaped me um last night i do have a printer so i am going to start printing out you know the the etsy postage labels but not right now because i've got them all written up already but it is on my to-do list i brought in 125 pound for sinking funds but i'm actually going to put some of that back which i'll explain and then a lovely bought a planner and paid five pound extra so i really ever so grateful for that thank you so so much um really appreciate it so thank you so in total for the week we had 188.42 so 
zoom you in just a wee bit so you can actually see the figures. Um, plus 3, 4, 2, 10, 125 and 5. So in total I had 6, 6, 0, 52. Bills that came out, so Netflix came out. Still toying now with the idea of cancelling that because we haven't been watching it again. But I know that when we have Alan's next operation, and I'm seeing that his will probably watch it there, so um, I'm just going to leave it. And then if he wants to then get Netflix after his you know operation, he can then buy it for himself. Um, but on my telly, we tend not to watch it, so. But anyway, six ninety nine for that. TV license hasn't come out yet, but that'll probably come out tomorrow because today's Sunday. So, um, yeah, that'll probably come out on Monday. Coffee, I had thirteen pound twenty eight, so that was in my bank from lovely ladies a couple of weeks ago. So I, on the way down to Dumfries, <coughs> excuse me, I we stopped in at a Costa Coffee, and I got us a coffee and cake for thirteen twenty eight. I did buy Alan something as well, don't worry, I wasn't too mean. And then this other eleven fifty five was from we were at Gretna Gateway, the cafe we went into there. Um, it was a lovely, a lovely baked goods, but um, they didn't accept cash. That's the first time I've ever actually been somewhere that didn't accept cash. Um, and I know a lot of you lovely ladies do struggle with that, but up here in the shops that I go to and the places I tend to go to, you're more likely to have only accepts cash rather than doesn't accept any cash so but anyway all that came to £31.82 so we'll deduct that from there <coughs> which leaves us with 62870 dog grooming £25 went out from that which was expected and then Alan did put the £25 towards it and then weekend away I actually took cash with me from my envelope and I spent £54.48 so that came to 79.48 so that leaves me with 54922 I then put £20 over to extra debt um, because obviously I did buy a strimmer and a hedge cutter and things on my credit card so I want to pay them off quicker um, because you know, I already have the date that I owe and I didn't really want to add to it but I had to so 529.22 I am then going to put £45 back into my weekend away so I have £35 so I have £30 here that was um, from cash that I had the week before that I was going to cash stuff with so I've still got £35 in there plus change um, and then this is £45 that I'm putting back um, from back into my weekend away envelope because I didn't use it that is just going back in there so we are back at 20 40 60 70 80 90 1 110 115 120 135 130 140 140 so we really need to up our game with that because i need money for mid-august when i need to pay for our weekend in september so but anyway i'm good that money's going back into that so we'll deduct the 45 which leaves us with 48222. I then um, didn't cash stuff my envelopes, so I did have the £35, but I didn't like cash stuff it as such. Um, I'd put it aside waiting to get the money in from the bank and then forgot about it. So, because I, I didn't take it with me, I just took the £100 and left the £35 in my purse, well, in my, my safe. <coughs> I spent £56 and a penny on fuel. Does anybody else get really annoyed that they can't just hit the zero and always go to the penny? I definitely do. So that was for, I filled that up here and then um, I, we didn't need to fill up again until we came back up the road from Inverness. So that was lovely. And then Alan actually filled up for me, which I thought was really kind of him. So £42.21. 
is what we're left with after we take that out. I didn't stuff my monthly because I didn't do a cash stuffing, but what I am going to do is the money that I had planned here and my monthly, I'm going to put over to next week and cash stuff it all um, <clears throat> next week because I still need the money in these sinking funds, if that makes sense, and I want to complete the monthly challenge. So, um, and I, I will have the money because I didn't spend it here. I will have the money to roll over, so it's fine. And then I had 52 pence because I only spent 54.48. Um, I have 52 pence still in my purse. So the pound coins are part of the 35 pounds that I didn't take with me. And then I have 52 pounds here. That's going back in. So 20, 40, 52. So that will just go in my tin. Okay, it will not go in the tin. I can't get it in. <laughs> so I'll put it in off, off camera. Um, so I will mark 52 off of here. So that's coming along nicely. We're, we're getting there. We've got a lot of the big numbers done, um, which is good. Some 60 pences, but we'll get them. I'm in no rush to do that. It's just somewhere to put all the spare change, to be fair. Um, so minus 52 is 427.69. Perfect. So I believe that is what I have over. Yeah, 427.69 is what I was expecting. So that's perfect. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. That is my close out for the week. I really need to get better at um, recording what I'm doing and where I'm putting my money. So if anybody has any suggestions, any tips that they do, um, please let me know in the comments because I'm really struggling because obviously I don't take this book with me. I am toying with the idea of getting a little notebook um, and taking it with me so I can jot down what I spend. Um, but I don't, just don't know if that's over the top or not but i am toying with the idea because i want to be better especially when you come in the run-up to christmas and you're maybe you'll see a wee thing and you think, oh that'll do and you know you buy it and then you don't take it out and oh, then you want to go back and forward and all the rest of it so i want to be a bit more organized with that i'm going to leave that here for now um i'm going to go off and record my budget for next week and then i'm going to go shopping and get cash because i don't have cash but my <coughs> My budget for groceries is 35 and I do have the £35 in there so I'm, I'll probably not stuff that in my cash stuffing, I'll spend that and then you know go from there. But anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you in my next video. Take care and have a lovely week. Bye bye.